Hello, in this video we're going to take the nonlinear demand equation here for a firm and get the price elasticity and income elasticity of demand. A firm's nonlinear demand for its product is given by the following. Q is quine demanded, P is price, and I represents income per capita. We want to calculate the price elasticity of demand. The short answer is, uh, with a nonlinear demand of this functional form, the price elasticity of demand will be the exponent on the price term, in this case, minus 2.8. The income elasticity of demand, again, the quick and dirty way to solve this is, uh, given this functional form, the income elasticity of demand is the exponent on the I term, or 0 0.9. Now I'll show you the more detailed way of solving this and proving this. So we take the firm's uh, nonlinear demand equation, and we're going to take the natural logs of uh, this equation. So putting this equation into natural log form, we get something like this. I want to take the total differential of this equation. So taking the total differential on the left-hand side, we're going to get 1 divided by Q times the change in Q, or dQ. And then on the right-hand side, we get the following. This here, this constant, that doesn't change, so that just drops out at zero. And now we want to solve for the price elasticity of demand. Uh, doing this, we're going to hold income constant, so we're going to let this di here basically go to zero, uh, so that's going to drop out. But anyways, the price elasticity of demand formula is this. Okay, so we're going to solve for this, assuming again that di is zero, so this whole thing's going to drop out. So like I said, uh, income doesn't change, holding that constant. And now we're going to put this, in, we're going to solve this for the price elasticity of demand. So I'm going to divide both sides through by dp. And I'm going to multiply s both sides through by p. That'll give us this format right here. And that'll leave us with this result. Income elasticity of demand is minus 2.8. Doing a similar thing for the income elasticity of demand, but this time holding price constant, dp, we're going to assume that doesn't change. Uh, so that's zero, and so that will drop out. Here's our income elasticity formula. So again, uh, setting dp equal to zero. And now just putting this mess here into this form, uh, dividing both sides through by di. We'll get, we'll get us a dq, uh, di here on the left-hand side, and multiplying both sides through by i gives us the i divided by q, and that's just going to equal 0 0.9. That's it. I hope you found this video helpful.